for the sign of Leo. Let's go ahead and just bring the cards forward now for Leo. For the energy of Leo. The energy of Leo. Whoa. Energy of Leo. Energy of Leo now. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn. So if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box uh, uh, um, to get to the store. Energy of Leo. We have Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles flipping over. Uh, we have the five of sword, the five of pentacles, two of swords, and eight of cups all coming out. I'm not going to take those one at a time. One at a time. There we go. Sometimes the energy just bunches up, and um, I just know when it's not controlled. All right. Okay, Leo. Let's see what we have here. We have the devil in reverse. It's a beautiful way to have it. Quidum cups in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> okay. We have the ace of wands over the top. We have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have Justice and the Chariot. Leo, there, there are so many combustible energies here. Um, I feel like something's really happening. Is this a weekly reading? Uh, possibly. It could span over an exciting day, Leo, that you're going to have this week, or it could span over a period of time as maybe two to three weeks. Um, sorry, I'm just getting into this energy here. My body does respond sometimes when I do that. Uh, Leo, for the first half of this week, you're embodying the justice energy. So you're staying balanced this week, even though there's something here that's really um, quite exciting for you, Leo. Um, something that comes in is, I would say, quite a surprise. Um, I do feel like you are in a place of balance. You are in a place of equality, equal mindedness, uh, equal handedness. Like there is a, a balance here. There, there's something more Leo than just yourself in the beginning of the week. Like there's something that makes it, it's either for the better good or for the whole family or for both of you or for the workforce. Like there's something here that's, um, it, it's, it's something, it, it's something that makes a lot of sense, Leo. It's something that works for for both sides it's something that it just is something that is almost in a way the answer some sort of answer coming in for you leo and it might be something different than you originally thought it was going to be we have the ace of wands here coming in over the devil in reverse and the queen of cups uh in reverse so there was something here leo could have had to do with a feminine uh feminine pisces scorpio or cancer energy um, there was some sort of pressure, I would have to say some sort of pressure here, um, that, that it was, it was concerning. Uh, it could have been something that was a little bit out of control. Well, there is some sort of a situation. There is some sort of a situation here because the justice energy is here. That means there was some sort of a, uh, imbalance or some sort of problem to solve or something that wasn't 
uh, being addressed. So this is a good move. Like there is some progress here, uh, c some new excitement, some new solutions coming in after a period of time of unstabilized behavior, I would have to say. There's something here. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. There's a need that there was a need here, whether it was for uh, the safety of the family, because this is a, the love energy, whether it was for the safety of the family, whether it was for a child, uh, whether it was for something within the home to create well-being and a, and a heart happiness, there was something here that wasn't quite settled. It wasn't there yet. It wasn't, it, it was, it was like a, a worry and a concern that came in, um, and it could have destabilized uh, the feminine, it could have destabilized the feminine because of some off balance situation. Uh, but there is something now, Leo, that comes in that's quite exciting. I think it's going to feel good for you. In fact, Leo, I do feel like this is something that's going to be somewhat of a, a reward or something that feels, um, it feels good. I just feel like this balance and it feels good, but I do think it's going to be somewhat triumphant. Um, the energy is triumphant. It feels like a, it's a good solution. There's a win-win. And even though I'm being dramatic here, I do feel like, Leo, I feel like there is some sort of um, uh, almost like, you know, that feeling that you get when you first get your driver's license. It's like, a, um, now I can do it. Now I have it. Now this is fun. Now this is way way it should be. Something like that connected in with the Ace of Wands. Um, as you get through the middle of the week, we do see the feminine energy get into a strong place. So there's something that the feminine energy is doing, Leo. Um, some decision that the feminine energy is making, moving into a place of logic and rationale. So the feminine energy here, Leo, whether you're the masculine or the feminine, uh, the feminine energy here is really kind of stepping forward, uh, being very logical, being, being very... Um, community or family or it's the same energy i'm feeling justice energy connected to this queen of swords i'm being very fair um overlooking the the desires of the individual and looking at more of the family as or, or the group as a whole and i feel like there's some sort of decision the feminine is making um she's going into action she's she has a solution uh, it's exciting and it's it's solving something that was really out of balance or out of control or there was no solution or it was the solution that she had originally was just not working. It just was too big or it was too scary. Um, now there's something different. There's there's another way forward and I do think it's exciting and I think um, as the week goes through, the feminine energy is stepping forward and making a strong decision and moving ahead. Um, Leo, you're moving into the strength position, uh, into the chariot position. Um, Leo. And um, see, I have the, this is my Leo card. So that's why I said strength. I'm looking up where my eyes landed, but that's okay because I think I need to take a little bit of a break here. Um, I don't need to take a little bit of break, Leo. It's time for me to continue this energy forward because it's the chariot energy. It's just like, it's coming through me. It's like, it's, it's happening. It's easy. It's, it's like, there's enough money for it. Whatever this solution was, it's, it can be done. Uh, and I think it's being done in the nine of pentacles. She doesn't just give away her pentacles. Um, she might bargain with one. Look, th there's one not here. One pentacle is in here. She might bargain with one. She might be, uh, more diverse thinking with one of her pentacles, but that's just one of the eggs in the basket, right? There, there's nine more eggs here in the basket. So whatever she's doing, she has the ability to do it. She feels no regret. Uh, it feels like a very smart and it is a very smart decision. When the queen of swords connects in with the nine of pentacles and the chariot, um, overcoming some sort of situation that was not right, or it just, there's a looming situation, whatever that was. The mind, the strength of mind, the strength of clarity, uh, the answers that come to us when we give it a little bit of time, because I feel, Leo, uh, there was a little bit of time taken. Libra is not a fast energy. Justice is not a fast. Sometimes if the universe is involved, it can be quick. But if you're talking about law, if you're talking about being balanced and fair with one another, it takes our, our mind some time. It takes our subconscious minds longer than our conscious mind. 
Um, the brain is a fascinating organ, and I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but I have been through a deep kundalini. I know how the brain feels and how it works, and I know that it takes time for us to be balanced in how we feel. The emotions sway to and fro, and when we can stand in the justice energy with our heart at peace and our mind full of clarity, that's a position of power, Leo, that you have, that you are experiencing this week. And it comes from the soundness of the human being, which, um, we, I feel tremendously within me right now. So, um, this is, um, this is a week of, of victory. Um, so that's that Queen of Cups that I'm feeling with the devil energy. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and take this away. That's something that we can just put to the side. Okay, I'm not going to just take it away. I'm just going to put it to the side. There's no point in having it here because that was something that was somewhat of a fear, I have to say. So here we go. Chariot energy, it's happening. And I do feel like there's a gratefulness here. I do feel like there's a gratefulness here because there's something that's happened, Leo, um, with the Queen of Pentacles. I, I feel like there's an ability that you have inside of yourself now to... Um, have the logic to to have the control from within to overcome some sort of destabil there is that re there is a gratefulness that i'm just passing through now so i'm pat so there's something quite nice leo something that's a solution that feels good to the heart feels good to that part of you that just didn't feel it felt uneasy or you might have felt vulnerable you might have felt like there is something that wasn't safe or there's something that wasn't right and that was from the heart i can feel it um so whatever you're doing here is because you logically it makes sense it's because you still have some pentacles left you're not giving up everything you're being very careful you're being very money conscious and this is something you're moving forward directly in it is happening um, I would say that we have a Queen of Pentacles here, Leo. There could be a Queen of Pentacles here. There could be another feminine energy here. But I believe, Leo, this is an inner, this is something that's happening within the self, some sort of victory within the self. While there's family here and loved ones here and other people that are definitely being considered, I think that there is something within now, Leo, that helps you to find a deeper sense of confidence within yourself. The Queen of Pentacles is here. So uh, and the Queen of Pentacles is um, a, a place of solidness, a place of solidness, understanding, understanding how to manage um, not only daily care not only the schedule not only uh, the the decisions that that come in um to us day by day that we handle but also looking at money in a in a way of being savvy being savvy um understanding interest rates understanding um um how, how to how to move money how to manage it um, understanding how the world works around the economy and how businesses work with money. There, there is an understanding here of money management that we see. Um, I, I do feel like this is something that comes in. The energy happens. It almost feels like some sort of purchase or some sort of purchase. It's like some sort of purchase or some thing that you're doing here that's meshing the heart center and the practical sense within you and it's happening and then it feels like the energy kind of slows so you know wednesday thursday i don't know this energy of course is going to be different for everyone but it feels like wednesday or thursday there's like a sense of quieting and energy quiet quiets down um and it moves more into this queen of pentacles like uh um a satisfaction of what has been done a satisfaction of the way the problem has been overcome. A satisfaction. There's a satisfaction in the money de department. Um, there's a satis... The Queen of Pentacles is satisfied. And I feel, Leo, as the week goes by, you are going to be feeling the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel as the end of the week comes in, this Queen of Pentacles is going to be strong within you. So the excitement is going to come as a wave. It's going to happen because of the thought, because of all the work that's gone into it. Um, when it's time to happen, it's, it's going to, it's going to latch on and it's going to happen because of all the premeditation that has been, uh, that has been, has taken place prior. 
Um, and this is really the Queen of Pentacles here that gets the final victory because there has been a, a carefulness uh, around the decisions that have been made. Logic, clarity, wise decision making, carefulness, um, but also with the Queen of Pentacles, a steadiness of hand. Queen of Pentacles is a slower energy to take action and to make decisions. I think ultimately, Leo, the Queen of Pentacles within you is the is the is the ruling queen here as the week comes to an end and you end the week in the Nine of Cups. So this has been quite enjoyable, and I feel like whatever you're doing here, you're enjoying it um, by the end of the week. There is enjoyment in this. Enjoyment in the material possessions that you have or in the experiences that are here for you. Definitely connecting in to the solution, whether it's a celebration, whether it's enjoying whatever was purchased, what, whether it was some sort of a, a, a spontaneous vacation that you scheduled that you now get to enjoy. Some work of art, you know, that you placed on social media um, after a period of time and deliberation and there's some sort of way that you did that and now there's a celebration. But it is a week of acquiring or problem solving that ends in a very congratulatory way and it could just be a deep satisfaction that you have within the self It took a while to see this solution. It took a while for this to come in. It was different. It is different in some way than originally expected it to be. Right. Let's say you were going to, um, you, you needed to buy a certain kind of car. Let's say, let's say it was time your old one broke down and you had to, whatever. Uh, maybe you ended up buying a different car or maybe it was a pickup. All right, it, it, you know, it, it's just something like that, Leo. I'm trying to make my readings more like everyday. That's not an everyday occurrence. Well, I don't know if this is really an everyday occurrence. I think it's something special. The moon, it's something that's different, something that you wouldn't have originally expected. Uh, and it could kind of come out of nowhere. It could just be... Uh, a solution that came in after you kind of went down it deeper into the situation. I feel, Leah, you had to go in deeper into the situation, deeper into what was feared, deeper into the worries connected to it, deeper into truly what was needed, what was the goal, what is the goal, like going back down into the original goal. Like sometimes we can, we know what the original goal is, but along the way we can add a whole bunch of stuff to it. Yeah, um, let's go back to the car. Yeah, I, I need a seven-seater, right? I need a seven-seater. I need a six-seater. Um, well, what is the goal? Well, I, I have five people. So I have five people in my family. Um, I need to be able to transport them in a comfortable way. Okay, so why did I think I needed this? There's all kinds of other vehicles at seat five, right? It's It's something like that. It's like changing the tune, changing the tune halfway through and coming up with a new song, but a song that is very fitting and beautiful nonetheless. Working with the universe, working with the universe. That's what it is, Leo, and that's what you guys are doing. Um, that's what you guys are doing this week. Hand in hand with the universe. Seven of Pentacles. This, this, this is uh, when the Seven of Pentacles comes true. Like, this is when it happens. This is when it happens. This is the harvest time. Three of swords. Yeah, it has the, that's why the, I don't want to go down deeper because we're going to stay in the, in the queen of cups in, in reverse. Uh, and this is something that had been worked on for a while. And now it's, it's some sort of harvesting, uh, Leo, that you're doing uh, this week or in the next couple of weeks period of time. Um, for those of you that are going back to YouTube, 
Thank you for being here. It's an honor to read for you. Um, I look forward to connecting into Leo next week as well with another weekly reading. So thank you, my friends. It is an honor and a privilege to be here with you today. And I wish you um, a good week ahead. Thank you very much.